immediately fights back, says Tenobu's investigator pursuing satanic agenda and threatens legal action. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post our juicy news update, please click on the notification bell. Former Central Bank of Nigeria Governor Godwin Emiefeli has reacted to the content of the report by Mr. Jim Obazi, saying that the special investigated ap investigator appointed by President Bola Tsunambu is pursuing satanic agenda. Emiefeli, according to the report by Mr. Obazi, illegally launched billions of naira in about 593 bank accounts in the United States. United Kingdom and China without the approval of CBM's Board of Directors and Investment Committee. The report also alleged that Emefili deposited 543,482,213 pounds in fixed deposit in UK's banks alone without authorization. He has said the former governor of CBN, Godwin Emefili, invested Nigeria's money without authorization in 593 foreign bank accounts in the United States, China, and United Kingdom while he was in charge. All the accounts where the billions were lodged have all been traced by the investigator. The investigator also had also found out that Buhari did not approve of the narrow redesign, adding that it was Tunde Sabiu who first told Emre Fiole in September 2022 to consider the redesign of the Naira. However, Emre Fiole in a statement personally signed by him denied all allegations as contained in the report, describing him as false, misleading, and calculated to disparage my person, injure my character, and deserve the selfish interest of the private investigator. The former CBN boss said, contrary to the report on the narrow design, there was indeed a presidential approval, and the said approval was handed over to the same Jim Obazi, though in the process of his investigation, in the presence of senior CBN officials and his own investigative team. Moreover, the former president, Muhammad Buhari GCFR, has stated on a number of occasions that he authorized and approved the narrow design. I am therefore at a loss to why Mr. Jim Obazi will mislead Nigerians that there was no presidential approval. He further said that he is not aware of any 593 foreign accounts and if anything of such exists, he is not aware, adding that he has instructed his lawyers to immediately commence the legal process to clear my name from the defamatory statements contained in the report and by extension the publication. The statement reads, and I quote, after my release on bill from the Correctional Center, Kujé, my attention was drawn to the publications released by the Punch newspaper and Premium Times online news platforms. The sources of the information published by both media houses were accredited to a certain report prepared by Mr. Jim Obazi, who was appointed by the president as a private investigator. I have gone through the publications and I say boldly that the contents of the said publications are false misleading and calculated to disparage my person, enjoy my character and to serve the selfish interest of the private investigator. Because of my present situation, I have been advised by my lawyers not to say anything in respect of the matters that have been submitted to the court for adjudication. However, I need to address some of the issues raised in the publications, which are Bertha's lies told by the investigator in order to achieve his satanic agenda. First, it was reported that contrary to the provision of the CBN Act 2007, there was no presidential approval for the narrow redesign. I wish to state unequivocally that there was indeed a presidential approval, and the said approval was handed over to the same Jim Obazi during the process of his investigation in the presence of senior CBN officials and his own investigative team. Moreover, the former president, Muhammad Buhari, GCFR, has stated on a number of occasions that he authorized and approved the NARA redesign. I am therefore at a loss as to why Mr. Jim Obazi will mislead Nigerians that there was no presidential approval. The report also claimed that a sum of $6.23 million was withdrawn from a CBN vote based on a false presidential directive bearing the signature of the former president, Muhammad Buhari, the GCFR, and that of the former secretary to the government of the Federation, SGF, Mr. Bose Mustafa. 
About two weeks ago, Jim Obaz and the company of a certain deputy commissioner of police from the 4 CID came to Kujie to ask me questions in respect of a said document in the presence of my lawyers. I said verbally and in writing that I have no knowledge of such a directive from the former president and the former SGF. In fact, I told them that it was the first time I'll be seeing the document. On this, I challenged Jim Obaz to publish the said document also the statement that I made to them. The final issue that I would like to respond to is the issue of 593 accounts which are purportedly open in different parts of the world. I state categorically that I am not involved in the opening of these accounts and I do not have the knowledge of their openings. The fake deposits in those foreign accounts are definitely outside my knowledge. However, let me state clearly that the relevant departments of the CBN have the authority to carry out such activities in line with their, mindful, in line with their lawful mandate within the CBN. I therefore join well many Nigerians who have spoken on this matter and have demanded the thorough and transparent investigation of all these alleged frauds. Meanwhile, I have instructed my lawyers to commence the legal process to clear my name from the defamatory statements contained in the report and by extension, the publications. Now, you see waiting, you see waiting because he might actually be saying the truth here, but unfortunately, you don't dent your image. If then they tell and I say integrity is underrated, forget say people go they tell you when you get integrity, they say you dull, you smart, uh, uh, you know smart. Oh God, leave them all. I can't fear like a go because at the end of the day, that's your ego. But then they tell you, ah, tomorrow, then go use the talk. Say nothing we will tell that man. That man no chic. That man no agree with him. We talk. We talk, we whine and whine and whine and where they you know yield. Ah, that man gets car. They will be tomorrow. If something comes up, then go even follow for people who talk say, I know that man did do like that. See waiting your lack of integrity to your office. You not keeping the oath is worth your office. Being distracted from your office. See, we don't land you soon. They have all left you behind. People that will follow you, they run this matter. How far? Then they no. Like I said. He may feel he may be saying the truth, but his name never. People no go. People no go recognize him. This man's situation should serve as a lesson to others. Working against the people is equally to killing them, and there's a reward for every offense against the people. I'm telling you, if you're working now, why you're working on that integrity part? You also make use of your brain. There are people that you will not even step on their toes. They are going to heap allegations upon allegations upon allegations. Yes, now. The people in the prison, politicians, will be say they're no great youth, they're still the prison. Just make sure say you make use of your head when you do your face. Is Mr. Chim Obazo on personal vendetta against Seme Philly? What has the CBN governor done to him? And why must the private investigator be assigned to investigate him when we have capable hands to the nation's police and the state security services to do it? I don't know, my dear. Now, question will be say BAT Guansa. All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for. Tell me to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.